Last year, the Big Sky Conference limited teams to 100 fans. And if you remember the year before, <laughs> the tournament was happening when COVID shut everything down. Year two, it was going great and uh, attendance was booming. We were looking towards some uh, great uh, weekend games and, uh, and hoping to get, get a little close to fill the arena. Then COVID takes our legs out. The Big Sky Conference looks forward to returning to full capacity, but there's more to this story. The Big Sky Conference's three-year deal to play at Idaho Central Arena expired, but they've signed a new five-year deal to host this tournament in Boise. And our fans love to come to Boise. It's, uh, as you know, it's clean city. Everything's downtown, restaurants, bars. People stay there, walk to the games. And it provides a lot of advantages that we're looking for. And this tournament brings dollars into our community, especially for businesses downtown, as visiting fans echo the same message as the commissioner. The tournament was going to be canceled, and so um, we got to spend about three extra days just exploring the city. It's beautiful. It's clean. And for basketball fans here in Boise, the tournament features 20 games in six days at an affordable price, while also featuring Idaho and Idaho State. Our student athletes are very accessible and love to talk to kids and and we really create a family atmosphere. The championship game for the women happens on Friday and the men will battle it out on Saturday with the winners representing the Big Sky Conference in the NCAA tournament. They put their hearts into it because as you said Steve, this is their one and only shot to uh, get, in the, get in the big dance and looking forward to some exciting competition. Steve Dent, Idaho News 6.